Hello, my name is Matt Lynn with ATG. Uh, today I would like to show you a method of editing your Keynote text file in Excel in lieu of Notepad or any other uh, text-only software. So I'll start by coming up to the Keynote and I'll do a user Keynote. So this brings us to the out-of-the-box library, which is installed when you install Revit on your machine. Uh, it's got a bunch of items and they are listed by division. So if I go to four, you can see it goes from masonry to common work results for masonry. Uh, and then it gets into mortaring, grouting, and anchorage. And you can go even deeper to select the kind of mortar. So for today, I'd rather not use something so detailed and use a, a custom text file that I made myself. So I'm going to cancel out of that for now. Okay, so here's the custom uh, text file. These are also broken down by division, but it's not quite as detailed. And you can see I call out the division here and then the name here, and this will be like the heading for all of the 07 text notes. Okay, so from here, I'm going to escape out and go to Keynote Settings. Um, and then I'm going to browse to that folder. Okay, so if I say okay, it should be there ready for use. So if I come back in, you can see here is the new text file that I made. It's got the division two with the notes, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then all the way down here at the bottom, I can see the divisions start after all the notes. Well, really, I'd like to file these underneath the division. So I'm gonna cancel out here again and go back to my version. So it filed these all the way at the bottom because for something to be fall under that under the tree, it has to have another tab after it and then wherever you want to nest it. So if I copy this division two, hit a tab here and paste. Now this O2 demo one remove wall will fall directly under the division two division. So you can do the same thing get rid of that do one tab and then i'm just pasting okay so i'm going to save this now close out come back to my keynote settings and reload. So now if I go into the text note, I can see division two is now the top of the tree for all division two notes. So I could go back to the text file and do that copy paste after every single note like I did for division two, or you can use Excel with text notes, which is a faster way to uh, get the production you're looking for. So with that, I'm just going to open Excel, and then I'll just go to open, and I'll browse to the correct folder. And right here it says all Excel files, so I'm going to change that to all files, and you can open text files in Excel. So we'll open it like this. Uh, and it gives you a little text import wizard. If you accept all of the defaults and go straight to the finish, here is everything. And you can see the column A has all of the keynotes. So I'm going to pull that over a little bit. Uh, and then column B has all the uh, descriptions. And then C is the division itself, which these are the ones we copied over previously. So the advantage to coming in and doing an Excel, you can just simply copy it and then go like this and paste. Okay, so now I can go and save this file 
and I'll do save as um, and I'll browse to where I want to go. I'll put it here and you can see it's saving it as a text file. Now you could save it as an Excel or whatever else you want, but we actually want the text file because that's what the keynotes reads. So we'll say save to this and yes, we'll replace it. I'll go ahead and close that and then reload the keynotes in here. So now if I come in here, you can see they are organized just like uh, the default, except with fewer options. So this is how you can quickly make your own file uh, and use Excel to you know, uh, earn the ability to uh, use autofill and so forth. And there you go.